Okay, so I'm going to try my best to do a short video to explain uh, this inequalities once and for all. So the first thing you need to do is a bit of algebra translation so that you can generate your three inequalities. I'll just write three that uh, you, you usually tend to come up with, right? So one may look something like this. Now if you get something like this, this is y is greater than or equal to 2. That's um, a format you should recognize. So if you get anything, any form y is equal to some number or x is equal to some number, it does not matter if it's greater than or less than. Once you get equations in this format, they are either horizontal or vertical lines. If it's x, it's a vertical line passing through this number. If it's y, it will be a horizontal line passing through that number. That's how you know how to draw those types of graphs. If for the second condition you get something like x plus y is less than or equal to 10, then you have to create your box. And in your box, you will have x and y values which will be your coordinates to plot. Now, I told you to use the crisscross method when you have equations of this format, where on one side you have both variables the question is dealing with, and on the other side you have a number. You use the crisscross method of putting a zero in one location for x and a zero in one location for y. When you do this crisscross method, you simply, when x is zero, so when x is zero, you substitute that into this equation. If x is 0 here, y will obviously be equal to 10. You put it in. Similarly, you look at the case when y is equal to 0. And if y is equal to 0, that means this number here goes to 0. So x is left to be 10. So by the crisscross method, you would be able to generate coordinates. This first coordinate is 0 with 10. This second coordinate is 10 with 0. Using these two points, you simply plot and connect with a straight line. That would be your third coordinate, um, third graph, right? So you can have straight lines like this, straight lines like this, or straight lines like this, right? Um, sometimes you're going to come up with situations where you have just Y on one side and X on the other side. To generate coordinates like this, tends to be a little more challenging, but it can still be done. You still have to do the box method. Now you cannot use the crisscross method when X and Y lie crisscross across each other, right? Um, what you can do is for sure, you'll know that you can put in zero in one location for X. So in, this, in a case like this, when X is zero, Y will be equal to two multiplied by zero, which is still zero. So you'll get one show coordinate with zero. But to get the second coordinate, you have to just randomly choose a number. How do you randomly choose a number? You observe the types of values your question is dealing with. So if you see numbers like two, five, 10, you can choose a number within that range. So let's pretend we can use X as eight. And if you were to substitute that into your equation, when x is 8, obviously y will be 2 by 8, which is 16. And you simply put it into your box. So for this graph, y less than or equal to 2x, you have 0 with 0 and then 8 with 16, which you can plot. And that will give you another line. Right, so I hope this helps with your generating points to plot. And if you have further questions, you can feel free to WhatsApp me.